Thank you. Thank you. I'm Bruce Waxman. And uh, yeah, it was uh, Alex's take home message there was communication. And I can't stress how important the communication is. And that's why I'm here today. I'm the psychopathic surgeon. Hey. Um, my, my specialty is uh, I'm a colorectal surgeon. And you might say, why am I a colorectal surgeon? And many patients ask me that. As I got my finger up their bum, they say, why do you ever want to do this specialty? <laughs> and the answer is passion. Julian mentioned passion. You <laughs> can mention passion. And if you look at the word passion, uh, P stands for optologist, right? A is an A, that's an anal surgeon, AS. Yes, so I actually work in Southern Health, so that's the job I do. It's now called Monash Health, and I'm a Monash graduate. You all guys from Monash? Great at university. I worked at in Numis, and I've marched on Parliament House to change the curriculum in 1974, but so I'm passionate about education. The I is I, I'm an idealist. O is for I'm an organiser, and N, I'm a bit of a nerd. I spend a lot of time on the computer, and, uh, but I, I enjoy that. <laughs> but uh, the other things I do, I'm a director of general surgery, director of colorectal surgery, and I work in Julian's department as an academic surgeon, so I'm a straw. I'm a surgeon, I'm a teacher, I'm a researcher, an administrator, and I do a bit of writing. I like writing, and that's something that suggests that surgeons are more than people that just cut people up, right? And uh, so that's what I'm a bit about. Uh, I'm, I teach medical students, so that's you'll meet me. Uh, is a as a third year medical student or as a final medical student. And uh, to finally, to finish off about the cutters to cure. We are again here to convince you that uh, to cut is to cure. Now I need to refute some of my colleagues here who actually support our argument. <laughs> um, Rupert says he likes to get his hands dirty and he's actually a frustrated colorectal surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing gastroenterology, he couldn't become a surgeon. <laughs> told us that she took adrenals out of a mouse. Now that's, the, you need to be really very clever to take that adrenals out of a mouse. And although she says she's a scaredy cat, she thinks she highly respects her. So she, she's uh, helped us with our argument. And finally, Alex actually has coffee with surgeons. Now, <laughs> that, is, that is the greatest compliment of all the <laughs> To finish off and actually to, to convince you about uh, the, the reason is to cut us to cure, I have three medical conditions. A heart condition, I was born with a congenital heart disease, and I, my, I, had, I had a open heart surgery, and I was cured. I've got diabetes, the only way to cure diabetes is either bariatric surgery or a pancreatic transplant. And the third disease I have is I'm deaf in one ear. The only way to cure that is an ocular uh, implant. And finally, I'm psychotic, and the only way to cure that is a frontal lobotomy, right? <laughs> <laughs> However, now I haven't got to Andy. Um, Andy uh, said it's all about bottoms and hernias, well, that's what I do all day. But he said at the beginning of the, uh, the discussion, he said it might come down to ripping off your jackets. So he's given me an, uh, an invitation to rip off my jacket <laughs> and to rip off my tie. <laughs> <laughs> Why do I wear a bow tie? Because I'm a proctologist. The <laughs> tie gets in the way. Relates to the bow ties, guys, because well, it's a double double question. What is are bow ties only for professors? And do you respond positively, Bruce, to bow ties on med students? Now, the, the first question is: Are bow ties only for professors? The answer is yes, of course. <laughs> but uh, gynaecologists wear them as well, and it's, it's mainly the, the practical reason. Yep. Okay, and the, the second question oh, was... Well, how do you take it if one of oh, these guys okay. turns guys, up to yeah. your ward round? If you, you guys know. want to be a professor and you come on my ward rounds, wear a bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the physicians have a chance to challenge Bruce with one of their own questions. <laughs> as it were, there's a move towards, I guess, you know, 
note surgery, natural orifice, transendoscopic surgery. You reckon gastroenterologists could do that? Or do you want to take someone's kidney out of their vagina? <laughs> Uh, well, what, what he's referring to is using the natural orifices of the body in it's either the stomach or the vagina. And uh, I must say, I don't believe in that approach. I think it's been too clever to do an operation that could be done much better and much more efficiently, either with a laparoscope through the abdomen or with open surgery. So I'm not a nose surgeon. But I'm still very passionate about the anus. <laughs> Okay, we so